Because now that we've completed part two, before we are going to assign any load in the structure, we have to assign and model the wind facing at the top of the roof, just to counteract the lateral wind forces when there is a wind wood or the slew wood or there is the the um, wind wood effects on the building. So go to the 3D model. As you can see, I've only modeled the portal frame, which is the column and the rafter. But what I need to do is I'm going to add some tie presence, which is on top and on the side as well. Press D on the keyboard. Then select a new section. Let's say new section. Then hit apply. Just to draw. Click on each node. When you click on each node, it will automatically snap by itself. Press escape, hit D again, make sure that 5 is selected, then do it as well on the other side of the building. You can copy this, replicate, then a copy from here to here. Click on this node. 10 second one on this node. How many copies do you need? Put it 10. 10. Okay. As you can see, it's replicated in this whole direction. So I'm going to delete those. Press shift on the keyboard to rotate the model. Now I'm going to assign a section for number 5. If I click on this button, you can see that all the other lines have been set assigned with initial section, but this line has not been assigned it with the member. So I'm going to assign it right now. Go to property, right click on the member, go to property, then go to library. I'm going to assign circular hollow section for instance. Com under comment, I'm going to put it tie. And I'm going to go for By 7.6 hitches. Okay, apply. Okay. There we have it. Hit shift on the keyboard to rotate the model. You can also see it by um, this button. Zoom it closer. Let me increase it a little bit. Let me go for 100. Okay. sense now.
can go also I'll add some pressings as well at the end of the day so click hit D on the keyboard I send out a section section 6 then right click make sure that your middle and in snap is selected click on this node when you hover your mouse to this somewhere around in the middle just click anywhere it will automatically snap to the middle and do the same thing in here as well oh, sorry again apply just be patient press shift on the okay I want to make sure that snipe it on the right point and click and now click on this point back line and do the same thing do the same thing for here as well all right so this is the one I want then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side click in here click in here black model click in here then finally I'm gonna go on the side for section number 6 so right click on this line go for property then select Say brushings. I'm going for equal angle. This time now, I'm going to select 75 by 75 by 10 equal angle. Hit apply, Hit apply, Hit OK. You can see that it's been assigned. The reason why I'm adding the pressing at the end of the bit because in the middle half of this bottle frame the loading is carried by this one then half of the, half of the loading is distributed by every adjacent bottle frame when it comes to the end we need to add some more pressings to add some more reinforcement to take the load especially the lateral load all right so in the next part of the tutorial we are going to start assign so we are going to start defining our dead load live load and start defining our wind load and starting apply those loads on the structure then we are going to run the analysis and do the member check on design. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.